Good morning. How is everybody? Uh, today's Tuesday. Today's Monday. Today's the first day of our homeschool week. And uh, today we're going to talk about ELA. And uh, there's lots of things going on in ELA. One of the things we're focusing on a lot of time is the key details and the main topic. Okay, so this week we're going to start a new story um, and we're just going to review the skill we're learning, which is main topic. What is the whole story about? What's, what's going on? And the key details. What are really important parts of the story? Parts that we need to try to remember and parts that we need to think about when we're answering questions to the story. So one of the main things uh, that we're going to focus on is bears. Bears are um, really cute animals. But more importantly, there's a, there's a fancy word attached to bears, and it has to do with a lot of other animals, like my dogs, rabbit, hare, winter hare. They're called mammals, okay? And mammals have hair or fur. That's the first thing we're going to talk about. And they get milk from their mothers. Okay? Now, um, one of the things that we're learning about is going to be, the title of the story we're learning about is called Baby Bears. Does anybody know what the, they call a baby bear? What's the name? I know a, a baby cat is called a kitten, and a baby dog is called a puppy. What is a baby bear called? It's called a cub, okay? And we're gonna be talking all about it. But before I start talking about bears, I did wanna show you a special guest on my, in my classroom today. Now, I'm not allowed to bring uh, animals into the classroom, but um, growing up with a sister who worked at the North Shore Animal League, I've had lots of animals, and I really love working with animals. Let's take a look at my friend we have right here. My friend right here's name is Brownie. Hey, Brownie, say hello. Brownie is a guinea pig, and he is a mammal. Brownie, um, he likes eating vegetables. He likes eating carrots and things like that. Let me see if I can show you what he likes so much. Okay, so one of his favorite foods, if we're talking about plants and science, is the carrot. Let's take a look. Do you want to nibble on the carrot today, Brownie? Are you hungry? He, his favorite is pepper, so he might not eat this carrot today. Are you hungry, mister? All right, maybe later. So today we're going to talk about uh, some key details of these stories. Baby bears. And um, bears are mammals. Baby bears, they have a special name. They're called cubs, okay? And I want you to remember that's really important. And this story talks a lot about a bear's life. Um, they're living things. So they're born, they live a wonderful life, and then at the end, they expire. But what really is important to focus on is how do they survive? I mean, they're out in the woods. They can't go to McDonald's. They can't have somebody cook meatloaf for dinner. They have to find their own food. So that means that they're going to have to go to um, find it in the forest. They might see a blueberry tree and start eating blueberries, okay? And those are called herbivores. Herbivores are animals that eat only plants. Um, other animals are called carnivores. Now, we're not going to really focus too much on these vocabulary words, but I did want you to know that there are bears that only eat vegetables and fruits. And there are other bears that only eat meats, Okay, so these carnivores, carne means meat in different languages, and it's animals that just eat other animals. And you might be like, oh man, that's mean, that's tough. But these animals have to survive, and some of these animals need to hunt for food in their habitats. Matter of fact, the reason they live in their habitats is to make sure they get food and have a safe place to stay and all these other important factors. But um, in ELA, we want, really want to focus on the details in the story. So a baby bear is called a cub. That's an important detail. Bears are mammals. That's another important detail, 
okay? Uh, mammals have fur, right? These are all really important things. And as we go through this uh, Nearpod lesson that you're gonna be looking at and listening to it or reading at home, I'd like you to really focus on uh, going back and rereading, because good readers go back and reread. And if you're listening, you can go back and re-listen. And it's very important, if you don't understand something or you know nothing about it after you listen to it or read it, it's really important you go back and find out um, you know, what that is and what are they talking about? Because that's why we're reading. We're reading to understand uh, what the words mean and we make sense of it in really nice ways. So this ELA story, the main topic is all about bears and baby bears, okay? And the title of the story is Baby Bears, okay? Hey, mister. So when we're reading uh, further in the story, it's going to begin talking to us about um, the bears and their families. Now, you're not going to see um, lots of family members. It's just a few cubs and the mama bear, okay? Hey, buddy. It's okay. What's up? So that mama bear is uh, taking care of the whole family. She does so many things. You're going to learn this in the book. Um, they, they teach them everything. You know, even when you were little and you were a baby, you couldn't eat pizza. You couldn't have ice cream. Babies didn't know how to do that. They had to do, learn one thing at a time. And a baby bear, a cub, he learns these things from the mommy. The mommy teaches him, hey, look at that big tree over there. I want you to try to climb it. And when the bear and the cub has trouble climbing it, the mother shows him and the cub watches and learns. And then the cub, he can climb a tree too. And he maybe he can get some food. So um, these bears also uh, have a very tough job, you're gonna learn. They have to survive, not in a warm house, but they have to survive in a habitat they live in outside all by themselves. Well, we talked about mammals having fur. So the fur is going to help them. It's like wearing a fur coat on your body covering. And that's wonderful because fur can keep an animal really warm. All right. I know my dogs, they have hair and they're mammals and they run around in the snow and roll around in it, but they don't have a snowsuit. Well, that fur and hair is going to keep them safe. But then they come inside and warm up. What about a bear? I don't have a bear living in here to warm up. So he's going to have to find a nice, safe place to sleep in their habitat. Well, what happens is they build these wonderful places, almost like a fort that a kid would build in the snow. But they, they have these like little holes or hiding places. And they, they like these hiding places because it keeps them safe. Other animals that might want to eat them for breakfast. You know, th this is really important that they keep safe and that they're, they're not being bothered by these other animals. Also, the cold winter can be very, very tough. If you're a bear and you live in a mountain habitat, well, you're going to have to find a way to keep warm. Well, these dens, can you say that word? Dens. That's an important word for this week's ELA story. And these dens are these like little holes in a tree or under the ground. And the dens keep the bear safe, nice and warm. And a bear does something special in the winter. He doesn't find a way to keep himself warm, but he kind of does. All by themselves, they automatically know that if they eat a lot of food before that winter, they can fill their bellies and their bellies store fat. And this fat is held onto. Um, and it keeps them surviving the whole winter. They take a long sleep. There's a special name for that. It's called, and I don't hide the big words from you, it's called hibernation. Can you say hibernation? Yes, and we talked about that earlier on in the year. Hibernation is just a very long sleep. So I hope you like the bear story, and I'm signing off. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Brownie.